I wonder what this is on my desk. It looks like it's a box of awesome art supplies that I ordered from Sennelier. Let's go! Okay guys, so it's quite a big box. Well not huge, but you'll see better once I have unpacked it. So just using some scissors to cut the tape. I paid for this with my own money and it's part of my birthday, um, you know, fun stuff for the beginning of the year. And I have never ordered or visited the Sennelier art store. It's not practical for me to obviously physically visit them. And I didn't realize they have three stores all in Paris. I thought they only had the one. And they had famous artists that are known to have visited their premises. Well, that was the worst box I have ever tried to open. It was so stuck together. <laughs> so we have now opened the box and it's packaged very well indeed. Now, before I forget, um, Sennelier helped me out a great deal actually because with me not, this was my very first ever time buying from them online. And so your order has to be over 50 euro before they will ship it to your home address in France. And so my order would have been over 70, but because they had the three sketchbooks I ordered um, weren't available, they uh, kindly um, paid for the shipping for me, basically. But other than that, I've paid over 50 euro for all the contents of what's in here. And I asked for gift wrapping, which was free. So we'll see what that is like. So we've got some brown paper here. And I see everything has been wrapped. I was hoping it was going to be in their own, um, you know, Sennelier branded wrapping paper maybe, but it's not. It's wrapped individually in brown paper. So it's still okay. It's nice that it's wrapped. So, I'll take the packages out. And then we can see what they are when they're on my table better. We've got lots of brown paper that we can use as well for my art. If I put it on the floor and the cardboard and the last little thing is the business card the after sales so that's pretty awesome so we will then that, that should be it so these packages so we'll see what's in this one first. Not sure if that's gonna come out okay. My very first Blackwing pencil, and this is the 602. And apparently, uh, this is famous for the Disney artists, the illustrators and designers that use the 602. This is called Half the Pressure, but Twice the Speed. 
and I didn't want a box of 12, I wanted just one to try and Sennelier sell them in singles. So I'm excited to try that. So then this in the box, I'm not sure what is in individual plastic boxes, but I have ordered a selection of the Neo Color 2s because Sennelier um, are selling them cheaper than elsewhere and individually. Just use my scissors. And all in all, I would shop online from Sennelier again. It was, it was a stressful, semi-stressful experience because I've never shopped with them before. So this is the, it's a, a rose pink one that I got there. So I'll put more to the side. Uh, what you do initially is you put everything in your basket. You check out your order without paying and you then go to the sales team, contact you with a link. Ooh, now what's this? Ah, an art graph. Now I've never tried this and I wanted to and I got it in a magenta and art graph is like a tailor's chalk but it's water soluble uh, colour and I thought this would be great I can hold it and draw with it and it's water soluble but it's also um, lovely for doing monochromatic work then I've got this box of the Caran d'Ache Neo Colours there are 10 in here we'll have a look in a minute and, oh I think that, that's it in that bag and then in this bag ah yes we have a bottle of ink and I think that is it yeah so all of this costs over 50 so it is expensive art supplies are expensive but this is a bottle it's Bordeaux and it I can't pronounce their name but it is the and it's a glass bottle so that's nice. The Ro Rohers, I think they're German. Roher and Klingner um, ink. It sketches ink, basically, uh, in Bordeaux. And it's made in Germany. And this is like permanent ink, but you can put it in a fountain pen. And as you know, I've had a Lamy uh, All-Star pen, so I'm going to be putting that in there. So we're going to have a look at these neo colors because these are actually i've done a lot of research about the best kind of economical artist grade light fast watercolors and the neo colors for me in europe have one the daniel smith do do uh watercolor sticks which they say are very economical but I'm afraid having the import fee and all the rest of it works out too expensive for my liking I'm very prolific I get through art supplies a lot and I need them to be um, you know lasting a lot better and so these have actually worked out to be fabulous the, the Neo Colors by Caran d'Ache, the Neo Color 2s are what they are. They, Caran d'Ache do Neo Color 1s and 2s. 1 is not water soluble and 2, as you can see here, the two marks are water soluble. So they are wax crayons that dissolve in water. So you can use them with water or without water. So it's a 2 in 1. It's very good value for money and they're light fast. And they're made in Switzerland and they are obviously not China, and they are not toxic. And so, these colours, you remember I had a tin of 15, which I'm still using, so I wanted to get some colours I haven't got in that tin. So this is the 
don't think they give you oh they do <laughs> I was thinking they're not telling me the colors this is Toledo Brown I put it there and this should be this is apricot and then we've seen the rose another another yellow because I get through it so quickly this is a standard yellow and then I've got ruby red then I got carmine then I got turquoise blue which I have a feeling could be what was already in my tin then I had Payne's grey so I thought that comes in very handy dark olive because I need lots of greens and blues that make green and the yellow and then I got this bright green and sapphire blue so different colours to what I've already got I'm thinking though this turquoise might be um, maybe a duplicate except I don't think it is because I think it's actually like light sky blue is what's in the tin of 15 but this blue does look quite similar but anyway they're all different colours to what I've got in my tin of 15 so then what with that water soluble I am excited to try all of these supplies so I'm thinking I might get my sketchbook that is nearing a sketchbook to and just show you guys what all of these look like I mean I know you know what the neo colors look like so we probably won't be swatching those but um, I will be having a look at this uh, pencil and the art graph so I will just put the Neo colours back into their little boxes and we will have a look. Okay, so what I'm doing is just getting my maker's cabinet sharpener out the hovel because we're going to need to sharpen the Blackwing pencil. I think this is going to need another clean pretty soon it's very often used oh, it might be a wrong way okay guys so I fast forwarded the sharpening process and now we have a perfect 602 black wing pencil and they come with an eraser on the end and you can buy replacements for them and what's so good about this but apparently it's like a built-in pencil extender so you can use the pencil right down to the nub because you then hold the sharpener end and you can still use it so apparently the big thing about these black wing pencils uh, they're supposed to be like all the grades of graphite in one pencil and the best softest um, graphite and all the rest of it so I have to say that is quite it is soft you don't have to press hard at all and there's no scratchy no scratchiness at all is nice and let's see how we erase ah now the erase is quite good hmm. not bad i don't know if it's worth the hype but i'm pleased i've got one and now this i've never used I imagine it's going to be messy when it's wet. A little info card about it. And I think it's all natural. So, can use it like that for drawing on the corners or straight down like that and do lots of nice patterns there great for backgrounds I can 
do lots of lines and I can feel it kind of wanting to melt in my hand. <laughs> so I'll just get my water brush. Okay, here's the water brush. Oh wow, look at that. Gosh, it takes on a whole different thing when you add water, doesn't it? Look at that. Isn't that my kind of colour? It kind of looks like a dirty bur um, Bordeaux colour when it's down. Like a burgundy Bordeaux, but as soon as you add water, wow. That is pretty. It's going to be a lot of fun, mothers. And so, yeah, my experience has been a little bit disappointing from Sennelier, but also positive. Because I went there, I was having problems originally with Jackson Art Supplies not accepting my bank card. <laughs> I think it was a Brexit thing. It was a little bit glitchy for people in Europe every now and then. And so I then f looked around and I thought, hmm, I will try Sennelier. And though there were teething problems, I probably would every now and then go back again because they do have things that are cheaper than getting from Jackson Art Supplies, like the Neo Colours. And I like supporting the French shops. The gift wrap could be worked on. I really did think that they would be using their own branded um, gift wrap because their colours are green and gold as such. So I did think that the wrap, they'd have their own wrapping paper for that. Maybe they will at some point. <laughs> and I didn't get the gift message that I put in um, as a tester. It literally was just in English saying happy birthday. So I assumed that they were going to just print that and include it in the order. But that wasn't there. And no sketchbooks. They only had their own types of sketchbooks, or mainly sketch pads. And so, like I say, originally the order would have been over 70, because I'd ordered three of these sketchbooks, the Harnin Mule DNS, their drafting and sketching books, um, but they had sold out. They only had the black ones, and the black are a lesser paperweight, the, these red ones are um, 140 GSM and the black are 120 and it makes a big difference. These are just perfect. If they were any thinner, you couldn't do your watercolour at all or ink. Because the more you add water, as I've said, it can be like a sugar paper where it can put holes in the paper and dissolve so any thinner and it wouldn't be any good for the things that I do so with that said guys I'm really happy with this I just wonder how easy this is going to be to open because then I can try it's showing here two stars so it says it's a pigmented drawing in calligraphy ink resistant to erasing and it's waterproof does that mean resistant to erasing and waterproof? I'll take it that it is waterproof. I bought it because it made me think it was waterproof. So I have to hope that it is resistant to water. <laughs> Hence it's waterproof. Let's see. Oh good, that was easy. Oh, it smells interesting. I was thinking, I bet it's going to stink something horrid. Because I bought some pelican... Uh, black ink and it stank something chronic that I had to um, I just take some out the lid oh wow look at that the pelican one stank something terrible so I added a drop of uh, cherry essential oil wow isn't that nice apparently it is fast drying so that is it guys you'll be seeing me use all of this stuff in my videos throughout the year basically my Lamy 
all star pen will be filled with this so instead of a black harsh outline for my sketches it will be this lovely bordeaux color and so that's it guys i hope you found this video interesting and helpful and i'll catch you really really soon don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment and share my video leave me a comment let me know if you found this helpful or not guys and i'll say bye bye